Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So as you guys might have seen in the in-game news, Global is going to be getting a brand new Boo Saga themed story event in a couple days that will bring with it some more free stones, a bunch of new free to play units, as well as some awakenings for a couple of summonable units. So in today's video, I want to give you guys a full breakdown of everything we can expect to see from this new event to get you guys prepared for once it drops. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. And the event is going to be called Evil Revived, the most fearsome Majin. And the release date is August 21st, 2020. So at the time I'm filming this video, we're about a day and a half away, but obviously it depends on when you're watching this. So if you guys want an exact time for the release, you can pop over to the Dokkan Wiki, where you can find a countdown to like I said, the precise moment when this event becomes available in-game, okay? And uh, the increased drop category is Majin Buu Saga, which obviously makes a lot of sense. So if you guys are farming the event, make sure to bring as many Majin Buu Saga units on your team as possible. The higher the rarity, the bigger the boost will be, okay? And now let's do a quick uh, count of all the free-to-play stones we can expect to get from this event, because obviously, that's very important to most people. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 stages and 2 difficulties per stage, which means 2 stones per stage. So that's 16 stones for completing all the stages. And then we also have some missions here. So for the missions, we can get 1, 2, 3 stones for getting all 3 of the new free to play units to super attack 10. So that's uh, 16 plus 3, so 19 stones in total you can get from this event, which is uh, not too bad, not too bad. And some other missions here, we can get some of the chocolate items, as well as some Hercule statues for Dokkan Awakening, all three characters. And for the chocolate items, you can farm them on stage 5, and they can be used in the Baba Shop to exchange for the new units. The uh, STR Goten, Fizz, Angel Goku, as well as Int Gohan, and also some Elder Kai's, some Awakening Medals, some uh, Incredible Hourglasses, Hercule Statues, as well as Z Sword Training Items. And as far as the other stages go, we can get the uh, Fat Boo Medals from Stage 4, and also the Super Boo Medals from Stage 8, and these can be used. The Dokkan Awaken, the three new free to play units, but also the summonable Fizz Support Gohan and Fizz uh, Support Super Boo. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to see for the event itself. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything here. Nope, okay, so that's the event. Now let's pop over to the new free to play units and see what they can do. Okay, so we're starting here with the SDR Kid Goten. I'm not gonna, you know, waste too much time on his, you know, pre-awakened uh, details because obviously I think most people are gonna be awakening him. So let's uh, just pop over to the Dokkan Awakening here. And his leader skill is Youth Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%, Super Attack, Supreme Damage, Lowers Attack, and Passive is Attack and Defense plus 70%, Goku's Family Category Key plus 1, Attack and defense plus 30%, plus an additional key plus 3, and all allies attack and defense plus 10%. When there is an ally whose name includes Goku Angel or Trunks Kid attacking in the same turn. So, overall, a pretty solid uh, free to play unit right there. I want to say he's the best I've seen, but he's uh, definitely, definitely really decent, especially with that support passive. I would say if you guys need a sub for, you know, Goku's family, especially, then uh, he's a very decent sub for support and also you know if you can pair him up with a Goku Angel or Kid Trunks then he should be even better right so that's the Kid Goten right there let's pop over to the Angel Goku here and that is some um, super wholesome art right there um, so there's the pre-awakened form and here's his Dokkan Awakening so his leader skill is Otherworld Warriors, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage, with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is defense plus 70%, attack plus 120% for 7 turns, from start of turn, and high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, starting from the 8th turn from start of battle, 
plus an additional attack and defense plus 59% when there is an ally whose name includes Goten Kid attacking in the same turn. And then Goku's family category allies key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 20%. So obviously, this uh, Goku and this kid Goten here can pair up really well because they, you know, activate the latter part of both of their passives. So if you guys uh, once again need subs for certain teams, especially like Goku's family, then uh, these two can definitely make a good rotation. And lastly, let's uh, talk about this Int Gohan. So he starts off as just Gohan Teen and then Dokkan awakens into an Ultimate Gohan. And his leader skill is Hybrid Saiyans, key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, raises attack, and causes supreme damage, uh, passive is attack and defense plus 58%, plus an additional 58% attack and defense, and high chance of launching an additional super attack when there is another Goku's family category ally attacking in the same turn. Goku's family category allies key plus 1, and attack and defense plus 10%. So this Gohan is actually really, really good. Alright, he's a really, really good free to play unit. Attack and defense plus 58%, another attack and defense plus 58%, high chance, which is a 50% chance of, a, of launching an additional super when there's another Goku's family category ally. So it's not a specific unit or a specific character. As long as you have another unit that's in Goku's family, then he has that chance to launch a super, so, or an additional super. So, oh, also a little bit of support here key plus one, and attack and defense plus 10%. For Goku's family. Uh, out of the three, I definitely think that Gohan is the best, but like I said, the other two are definitely not bad, right? So there's the Gohan. We talked about the, the Goku and also the Goten. So now let's move on to the summonable uh, support Gohan and support Boo to end off this video. Here's his token awakening, and of course, he awakens with medals from the new story event. And once he awakens, his leader skill is Super Fizz Types, key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, Super Attack raises attack, causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, passive is Fizz Types, key plus 3, additional attack and defense plus 50% for Super Fizz Types, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, Fizz excluded, to Fizz key spheres, and attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. And then links are all in the family, Saint Lineage, Cold Judgment, Revival, Power Bestowed by God, Brainiacs, and Shattering the Limit. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, and Saviors. Okay, so there is the Gohan, really good, just like all the other, um, you know, support awakenings we've had so far. And for the Buu here... He awakens from medals or with medals from the new story events as well. He uses the Super Boo medals while the Gohan uses the uh, Fat Boo medals. So, for his awakening, his leader skill becomes Extreme Fizz Key plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, Super Attack Supreme Damage, recovers 18% HP. That is a whole lot of healing, man. Passive is Fizz Types Key plus 3, plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% for Extreme Fizz Types. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type, uh, Fizz excluded, to Fizz key spheres and attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. Um, because he heals so much with his super, I would actually recommend to go more additional focused over critical in the hidden potential system. Obviously, it's your choice, but that 18% healing possibly doubled with an additional super is just too good to pass up, man. Okay, so links are Majin, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, Infinite Regeneration, Fear and Faith, Wall Standing Tall, and Shattering the Limit. And he's in Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, and Majin Power. So there you go, guys. The two awakenings for the supports coming with the Fizz type banner, as well as the awakenings. I mean, the, the new unit plus their awakenings, the Gohan, the uh, Goku, as well as the Goten. Okay, so that is pretty much all you need to know about this upcoming new Boo Saga story event. We should be getting at least one more new story event during the 350 million download celebration, possibly two. But for the time being, this is all we know about. Like I said, about a day and a half away, but it does depend on when you're watching this. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys 
enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.